and this video is gonna be more like a discussion. I wanna talk about a topic I've been getting asked about a ton, and that's AI. A lot of my artists and even artists I don't work with been asking me, is AI still in my artwork? Is this something I should worry about? How can I protect myself from AI? Is it possible to copyright my work so I can protect myself from AI? Like, what should I do? Because this AI-generated artwork is killing me. And more importantly, I think there's a better question that should be asked and even a better solution. But before we jump into that, my name is Jeroy Henry. I'm the founder of Artist Rise. In the past few years, I helped a ton of artists study artwork online independently. And my only goal here is to provide as much value as possible in hopes that we end up working together someday. But with that being said, let's jump straight into the video. So for those who don't know what AI is, AI is just artificial intelligence. Now, you've probably seen these really, really cool, honestly, some really amazing artwork that's digital online. But this artwork is computer generated. It's basically a ton of information that puts together these creative art pieces. And you probably see some of these art pieces may look similar to your work. So the question is, how can you protect yourself from it? Is it something you should worry about? And if you should worry about it, what you should be doing next? Honestly, I don't think that's the case at all. Unfortunately, there is no way around it. It's coming. It's AI and it's literally going to take a lot of people jobs. It's going to produce a lot of things that we're unable to produce as people. And also, it's literally just going to make everything better. But one, how can you leverage AI and also protect yourself against AI? More importantly, I'm going to be talking about how to leverage AI to put your art career in the best position possible for you to have the utmost success. So here's the thing. There are really two key things you need to understand that's going to always protect you from AI, which means keeping your art career at the forefront no matter what AI may steal from your work, no matter what they may put out, no matter how big it may become. Overall, this comes with you becoming the attractive character. This was first identified by someone named Russell Brunson. And basically, what it means to be an attractive character is someone falling in love with you. They become a fan of you. You see, AI could produce the same art as you, but AI could never be you. And the reality is that people buy into the artist first and then the artwork second. You see, a lot of my artists have a ton of success mainly because of how they communicate with their buyers, the relationships they build with their buyers, the relationships they build with their fans. You see, people resonate with the story. They resonate with the meaning behind the artwork. And that's the thing AI can't produce. AI cannot produce a meaning behind the work. AI cannot produce a story behind the work, at least not a genuine story. That's only something that's able to be produced from the artist. So what am I saying? As you create artwork, think about who your attractive character would be. Let me explain. Think about who you are. What's that journey that you're on? What are you trying to solve through your artwork? I'll give an example. Like one of my artists named Louise McNutt, she created artwork about endangered species. Now she created these beautiful artworks of bees and butterflies and different animals. But her overall meaning behind her artwork, the why she create is all based on saving endangered species. And only she could communicate that through her story. So even when AI produce similar artwork as her, people purchase from her because they resonate with her story. They connect with that story. And that's what you want to start with. Start with your story. Because as long as you have a story to why you create the work that you create, AI will never be able to replicate that story. And this is the same in all industries. If you think about any industry of someone that you love, someone that you're a huge fan of, you're going to realize you typically resonate with their story. You typically resonate with the things they talk about. You typically resonate with the movements that they're a part of. And this goes the same for you and your artwork. So first thing first to protect yourself against AI is to start with building your own personal brand around your art career, sharing your story, sharing why you create, sharing what your artwork means to you, sharing what the little details represent, sharing how those details details and those meanings resonate with those who's going to potentially be buying your artwork really really connect with your buyers now i know a lot of artists want to be behind the scenes and just let the work show for itself 
but in the today's time that just don't exist anymore people connect with people first not businesses you see kylie jenner became the youngest billionaire on earth not because she created the fantastic company which was kylie cosmetics it's probably just like every other cosmetic company but it's because people fell in love with her her fan base was fans of her first and then they purchased into the brand and that's the same thing with you and your all career so if you really want to protect yourself from ai focus on sharing yourself get out there more on social media share a little bit about your day share why you create the artwork you create share what you want that artwork to also mean to others really 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 allow your audience to start building a genuine relationship with you through the things you post and the things you share show who you really are as an artist once you do this first thing you're going to instantly set yourself apart from ai because people are going to fall in love with you they're going to fall in love with your name for example, AI can share the same information as me, but my audience fall in love with Gerald Henry. They love the fact that I'm very genuine. They love the fact that I'm very transparent. I like to talk about things as I see them. I like to share things that I truly believe is factual and not opinionated. And I share these things to help provide as much value as possible. But more importantly, people connect with me because I'm human, right? And that's the thing AI cannot be. AI cannot be human. So that's first, focus on becoming a better version of yourself for your audience and sharing that version with your audience. Two, and this is probably one of my favorite parts, AI allows you to better your artwork. You see, here's the thing, the way the brain works is that there's only so many ideas we could possibly think of within a day. Now, there's an endless amount of ideas out there for you to think about. But in the day, that's only so much your brain could produce. And this is typically called artist block. We all been there where we just don't know what to create, how to create, how to fall down our talent, how to fall down our art career. And one tool I love that allow artists to take their art to the next level is AI. You see, if you start to search AI just on Instagram, and you look at these AI generated artworks, which is just computer generated art, you will get a lot of inspiration. You'll get a lot of ideas. Now, I am not saying copy AI art and put it onto canvas. That's the last thing you want to do. The absolute last thing you want to do. But I'm saying it's actually pretty cool and it could be very informative for you to look at what's being produced by AI and think how you could use those things to take your art career to the next level. Well, it could be you studying color, you're studying different angles. And the cool thing is that it's just about empowering possible to run out of ideas because it's computer generated they literally could generate millions of millions of millions of different artworks and now when you start to pull from those different ideas you're going to find yourself getting really 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 creative in the work that you create so here's what i recommend you do start having a backlog of just ai artworks that you found online and you think it's pretty pretty cool something that's pretty phenomenal and then just start to take little notes what i mean by notes is to take certain color patterns take certain compositions take certain ideas certain themes and then start to elaborate on those ideas and those themes yourself and you're going to find yourself taking your art career farther you see one thing that i always have when i was in art school that our teacher made us have 24 7 was a sketchbook and inside this sketchbook we used to create these little thumbnails for those who don't know basically a thumbnail is like a very small size of a drawing inside of a sketchbook that you want to eventually put on canvas and i used to always create these thumbnails and used to draw just little ideas as you try to draw at least like 10 different ideas a day if you draw 10 different ideas a day keep in mind a typical month that's going to be 300 ideas out of those 300 painting ideas if you choose just the best five i promise you you're going to create extremely phenomenal work but what's going to take it a step farther is when you're also looking at ai art and you're pouring more ideas on top of your ideas such as color such as composition such as angles such as lighting all these things are really really crucial when it comes to creating a phenomenal piece but i'm gonna say it once again you do not and i'm gonna repeat you do not want to steal even though it is computer generated you still don't want to steal just an ideal and put it on canvas take little pieces that you think are beautiful and you combine those pieces with your own thoughts and your own ideas to create really 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 phenomenal work 
Now, here's the thing. If you understand that only you could be you and you should be sharing your story as an artist, it won't matter what AI may produce because AI cannot replicate you. AI cannot replicate what you represent. And that's what's extremely important. People follow you because of the things you stand for and stand against. People like you first and then they love the artwork. They resonate with your story first, then they connect with the artwork. And then second, use AI to even take your artwork to the next level. If you do these things, you're going to always be light years ahead of AI, and you wouldn't have to worry about copywriting your art. You wouldn't have to worry about trying to make sure AI don't steal your art, because you're going to understand that you're building a genuine fan base who loves you.